Choir? Is that your like moniker? Do you ever play solo as Revival Choir, or is it just your band name? Uh, we'll call it every all encompassing. All encompassing. Like, uh, like I'm serious. Did you ever? Hey, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Revival Choir, and it's just you. No. No. Uh, okay, I used so to then. be called. So I had different names though, and I did that. So I would be called like originally it was called I am the Lost Sea, and I would play by myself as the Lost Sea. Okay. And, and the, you did my blog as Revival Choir, or did you do Lossy. it? As, you did it as La C, yeah. That and what the year was that? That was some time ago. Yeah, that was like sure. 2013, or is that too? It may, it may have been sooner than that. I'm not sure. When uh, were you born in Pittsburgh? 
Yes, I was, a, well, a, a suburb, I mean, yeah, suburb, rural suburb. Where? Midway, Pennsylvania, up by Burgettstown. Midway, is it before or after Burgettstown, past Burgettstown? It is just before. It's just like, before, okay, yeah. on 22? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were born there and grew up there, mm -hmm. and there's a Midway school district? Fort Cherry. Fort Cherry, mm -hmm. okay, cool. And so, uh, when did you start performing, or playing? Oh, uh, pretty young. My uncle died, uh, and his guitars were shipped up. He lived in Florida. Okay. Um, and I just started messing around. And How old? Uh, probably 12, 13. Wow. So yeah. you inherited a bunch of guitars, or? Two. I, I had a, an electric and an acoustic. Okay. And me. so you just... Uh, taught yourself, took lessons, or what? I did take lessons for a while at, yeah. at uh, Lawrence Music in Castle Shannon. Okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, as far as songwriting, you know, when did you start doing that? Like soon thereafter, or it would seem, I would guess it would be later. Much later. Um, yeah. So after I had noodled around on the guitar, I really kind of fell in love with the bass mm -hmm. and, and played in tons of bands. And then I think, one of the bands broke up, and I was just like, well, I can't rely on these jerks. I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> just kidding. These assholes. Yeah. <laughs> what would name the bands? <laughs> Put uh, them on the spot. <laughs> so my first, I feel like, real band was called Owen's Ring. Okay. Um, and the next one was called The Eventide. And then after The Eventide broke up. Like what years are we talking? Oh, geez, like 2001, 2002. Okay. Right. But you played out only around in Midway sure. or in Pittsburgh? No, no, only in Pittsburgh, really. Yeah, Never yeah. in Midway. Yeah. Midway wasn't like a, a real kick in town. Like it is now? <laughs> I'm sure it's much worse now. I mean, just because of like <laughs> yeah. I mean, home degradation and erosion. It's like the sticks, sure. you know? Yeah. Like the only thing out there, well, I, I, I don't want to. Let's judge. Get yeah, okay, but like, right you know, I, I don't really Live know on that. on camera. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a whole population to hate us. Um, no, I, I know Burgett Sound obviously for sure. Star Lake for sure. all those years, but um, you know, it's it's you, you still live out there? No, no, no. I live uh, just south of Pittsburgh um, now. Where? Also in the where? You know where I live in Carnegie. Remember, we talk about it like uh, every time we see each other. Carnegie Pa. Yeah, it's Carnegie Pa. Yeah, Carnegie's awesome. I mean, I, I really, I mean, it's also falling apart, but there's like a. There's like kind of a haunting beauty to it in some places. Yeah, like most uh, of the towns surrounding the city sure. proper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some gems within the, the old timey kind of vibe that, that goes on there. Yeah. But, and, you know, you, that's what it is. It's, sure. You know, that's Pittsburgh. So uh, your current band is Revival Choir, and you've been Revival Choir. Why, why the name Revival Choir? Uh, it, it kind of... It kind of touches on a few a few things, really. Uh, first off, it's a revival of the La um, uh -huh. Second, I grew up in the church, and it's kind of like a, a wink and a nod at you know my you know really when when you grow up in the church, you have no choice but to you know like sing all the time because hmm. they they just sing hymns and. So, but as a parishioner, or as were you in the choir? No, I, I just, you know, yeah. you sing as, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, a person. That's what church is. Right. It's yeah. mostly singing. Yeah. And, and some. What church? The Catholic church or? Episcopalian. Episcopalian. And so are you still active in the church? Uh, no. At all? No? no? So you're, so it's like a, it's an ironic name. Yeah, there's some irony it, yeah. there. It's, yeah. it's like, uh, it's, it's one of those things where sometimes I don't even know if I'm being ironic. Yeah, you know? it's like some, not like... Sometimes I mean it, sometimes <laughs> I don't. It's, it's very complicated. <laughs> so Much like <laughs> my feelings on religion after yeah. some, so many years. Well, it's not uh, uncommon for sure. people, you know, to, like, question. Let's or dig whatever. into it. How much time we got? We got about... I'm kidding. Five minutes left. Great. You know? So, um, no, we don't have to get into that. So, uh, do you have any recordings that we can find online? Like past recordings or anything online. Call like where would where would I go to find your your stuff? Uh, I don't know right now. Uh, we're recording in June as a group, and uh -huh. we have some. There are definitely demos on SoundCloud, but I don't yeah, I don't know if they're of great quality. Yeah, SoundCloud.com, whichever slash direction revival choir. Really? Yeah. Okay. So do you have a Bandcamp? 
of stuff on there? I think so. Spotify. I can't remember. You there can't. is one song on Spotify, okay. and then uh, you know Instagram. So with demos, like, and I'm not putting you on the spot, but like, you're like, yeah, there's a demo on there, but you don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Why'd you put it up? Like, why would you know? Um, like, and, I and think then, uh, for expression, and like, it's not necessarily. I don't know. That's a great question. Like, okay, why so why do we do things? But but why, like, as a musician, you want people to hear your stuff, but then you put it up, and and you're not the first one to say, yeah, I got some stuff on there, but it's not really. So then, I think maybe I'm just a little. Maybe part of. Maybe it's an issue where I'm, I'm maybe f too focused on what's coming next, and and forget. And I'm past. not appreciating. Maybe I have a lack of appreciation for, mm -hmm. or at least a willingness to let whatever go. Right. Like it's there. It's you there, know. like as uh, um, like an archive or a history that, it, it, you yeah. know, if you take it down, then it's like, it's almost it's almost a sense of going away forever. So it's like, sure. Yeah. Yes. You gonna go with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like about the, I'm telling you. Well, the problem with the question like that is I'd have to probably think about it for. Okay. Yeah. A really long time. Well, no, I'm putting you on the spot sure. right now. <laughs> sure. I need an answer, man. Uh, no, no, I don't. <laughs> No, that's uh, that's cool. So, give me some of your influences. Like, uh, what are your, um, like, what do you, what's, you know, floating your boat right now? Re currently, yeah. um, well, you know, I've I've been listening to a lot of Frightened Rabbit just because you know yes. that whole thing happened yeah. and it was like a, a just a. Were you a fan before he? Oh yeah, I mean, life? Yeah. Um, and it was just. Did you see him? Never. You know, yeah. Never did. I saw him but a couple I, times. Yeah. I played often with someone who was on their label um, in Pittsburgh, and from all accounts, were just great people. Who would that be? Uh, Gregory and the Hawk, if okay. you remember her. She yeah. was, I don't know if she's still around. Okay. So you 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 played with her, and yeah, he that that band was like electric. Yeah. yeah that that was something else, and it was such a shame, and it always is. And, uh, but um, Pedro the Lion is a big one growing up. Um, Who is that? What's it's David guy? Bazan? Is it David yeah. Bazan? So now he's he tours sometimes as Pedro the Lion, sometimes. Yeah, as I think David he Bazan. gave up Pedro the Lion a couple year, like years and years ago, and now has. And he does house shows. Yeah, a and lot I've of been those. To them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean that's the way. That's the safest way to tour economically. I mean you're gu guaranteed. It's no frills, no fuss. You, you're like it's intimate. The fans love it. He's really gracious about his time after, yeah. too. I mean, he's willing I think to they talk all to are. people. I've seen a couple yeah. of those, especially through, uh, is it the, I, I don't know, is it Mizra who does the those? Mm. Or there, there's a. I have no idea. There, I think the, he's on. Like the Bottle Rockets do it now. I, I saw Will Johnson from Centromatic do oh, it. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, it's like, that's what they're there for, sure. is to the, give that experience to the fans. And part of it is the social interaction and having a beer and even maybe a meal and yeah. yeah, it's pretty well organized in that, you know, there's, you, you get 50 people or whatever. Sure. And then it's, it's a sellout every time. It's like, and you know, if you have a car and then, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. It's great. Yeah. And, and I feel like if you're buying a ticket for that kind of show, you're really invested. So the audience is like super, super silent. And, yes. And yes. Attentive and and, which, which is funny because, you know, as a, photo journalist or whatever of the scene, I would take my camera and I'd be like, I have to be very click, yeah, that click stealth. Is so what I would do is like, I would like focus and then hold it down and I would, I would wait for like a oh, strum sure. to hit. That's very clever. So, so that nobody would hear it. Yeah. And then, they're, you know, after photographing all these shows at these clubs where it's just like, you know, finger picking guitar, you have to be like. Of course. Yeah. So, but. You know, I'm not going to be bam, bam, bam in a <laughs> somebody's living room. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's intense, but it's cool. And and I don't do it all. I just take like maybe three or four pictures. Of course, yeah, and then sure, I'm done. Sure, sure. But um, let me uh, touch on before we talk about the songs. Let me touch on Acoustic Cafe. Now, are you uh, you're into that whole scene because your backing band? I want to mention all the players. Sure. Uh, on drums we had Eric George. Mm -hmm. On bass we had David Dickinson. Mm -hmm. Right, Sam Stuckey was vocals, mm -hmm. and Matt Ziegler was on keys yes. and accordion. Okay, yes. all those guys are Acoustic Cafe regulars, right? 
Maybe not Sam, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know what that what that means. Yeah. I mean, like, what's, a, what's a regular? A regular is somebody who's there. M I would say that yes, Eric and more, Matt. Yeah, are more yeah, extremely than, involved in it. Yes. Like like uh, like and David. I would say David. Is yeah, I Sam mean, and I less so. Yeah. Okay. So you less so. Like yeah. Is I mean, that how I just you met those guys. Uh, well, David and I grew up together oh, okay. in the okay. church, and okay. uh, and I think everyone else, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, so I mean, it's a very vibrant scene up at uh, the Fun House at Mr. Smalls every Monday night. Go check it out. Uh, and I was talking to Matt about, you know, just the community there. And I mean, find them online or just if you're a player and you don't know anybody in the scene or you don't know anybody in Pittsburgh who's a musician, I mean, go there and you'll make they definitely a ton of friends. There's, you know? I've made some great friendships yeah. there. They really, I mean, they need new faces, I think, is. Yeah. is uh, would be wonderful. Right. I don't, I don't know. Right. So you 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 played one song already. The first song. What was the name of it? Uh, Turn out every light. Turn out every light. Yeah. And you have two more songs to play for us. Sure. Cool. And then you wrote them. Yes. Yeah. 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 And and you can play these songs by yourself, or they're sure. they're, they're a little, um, you know, the version, they're a little, you know, bombastic and. It, yeah, I think that's a big. Uh, that's a. It's a big deal for me because I, I often feel like when you're playing solo, unless you have like a really warm crowd and, and, and mm -hmm. people who people who come intentionally to listen to and take interest and take part in you know being in a in a quiet room mm -hmm. listening. Yeah. Uh, if if you're not doing that, it can be very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's dying on stage, man. Uh, so, and you do have a web presence. I, no? I, I wouldn't call it that. Okay, I mean, so I'm I, not gonna, uh, I'm yeah, not I mean, in, Instagram, okay. Revival Choir, Revival um, Choir, SoundCloud, just slash Revival cool. Choir. And then um, we're hopefully gonna get some more stuff. So. Yeah, I, I plan to do. Uh, it. I find myself having been really involved in like web and media with the Lossy wanting to kind of retract from that, but I guess when this comes out, it's gonna, it's yeah, gonna, I'm gonna have yeah. to ramp it up again. Yeah, and do your own thing. Yeah, and you know. change my energy about it a little bit. Yeah, you don't have to. Uh, you make your own rules. You know? All right, fair enough. Right on. Thank well, you. thanks for being here, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the two more songs, and I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Sean. Sure. And we're gonna hear two more songs, and uh, here they are now. Yeah!
was just a kid when you cut your wrist. And now I wish I could bleed for you. But you'd insist that you don't want to live. to you yeah we have a way of explaining things to you we have a way of explaining things to you yeah we have a way of explaining things to you yeah we have a way 